like a kid in Christmas morning. All right, here we go. Bam, boom, bam. Hello and what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you are watching Miguel EDC where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today we're gonna be taking a look at this knife right here. We're doing an unboxing. I just got this in the mail from Amazon and uh, yeah, it's the quickest way for me to get my hands on this bad boy. I actually been looking forward to picking this guy up from the beginning of the year when it came out in January and I was just waiting for a good time, for a good time. So obviously I've gotten a lot of other knives in the channel before this one. I've just been trying to find a way to prioritize things in a certain order, but hey, it's about time that I finally pick this guy up. Keep in mind, there are affiliate links in the description. If you wanna go ahead and check this guy out yourself, check out those links down below. They do help out the channel, add no extra cost to you. And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and cut right into the package here. Doing the honors today, we have the Civivi Vision FG. This guy right here has been a blast to EDC and I've just been loving it. If you haven't seen the unboxing on this guy, check that video out. I'm currently EDCing this guy and I'll be putting a review video out soon. Amazing EDC knife with the super lock, amazing thumb deployment action as well, reverse flick. Bam, this thing is amazing from Civivi. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right in here with this guy. Got a lot of packaging, but the box is right over here, so. There we go, all right? <laughs> uh, you, guys, uh, you guys know what's up. Here it is. That's right, we're doing a Kershaw knife. So what do we have here? Let me give you guys a little hint. Let me give you a little hint right there. Bam, we're gonna be unboxing the Kershaw Iridium. About time, just about time we finally unbox this guy in the channel. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, break into the package here, shall we? Uh, so it's fun, like a kid in Christmas morning. All right, here we go. We got the knife right there, plastic bag, and we have a little bit of a scan for important information. Little sheet right here. If you want to scan that, you're welcome to pause the video. And uh, yeah, that's about it in the box. So yeah, let's get this out of the way here, shall we? And uh, let's focus on this guy. Here it is. All right, without further ado, let's get a feel for this knife. Oh man, okay, I want to say okay maybe there was a little bit of extra oil right here it looks significantly wet in this part for whatever reason also on this side those are just some first impressions maybe i can just wipe that off with my thumb you got aluminum scales going on on this guy with a nice bronze backspacer here feeling right off the bat is really really good and this guy is a crossbar lock so you know that's going to be really really sweet i gotta tell you quick impressions right off the bat it is uh, lighter yeah it is lighter than the civivi vision fg i, I noticed that right off the bat i'm like yeah, this even with the aluminum scales, it is really, really light. That's awesome. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and flip this guy open here, shall we? Let's see what this is all about. Here we go. First flip on the car shot iridium. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay, and bam. Okay, I think fires and close. Want to say wow? Okay. Got some quick action right there. Karshaw calls this the Duro Lock. That is what they're calling their crossbar lock style knives. As I understand it, now the Benchmade has basically been timed out on their patent on the Axis Lock. A lot of other companies have Axis, pun intended to uh, the crossbar lock and a lot of companies we've been seeing coming out with their own version of the crossbar lock. And here it is on the Kershaw Iridium. Of course we have the, we can open it with the crossbar or AKA door lock. It looks like this. Let's get some aco acoustics right there. I want to say the crossbar, the dual lock here, this is very easy to actuate. I find it very, very easy to actuate this guy. So that's pretty good. I know some other crossbar locks are really, really tight, really, really rough, but this one, very easy to actuate. Of course, you could thumb deploy this guy all day, every day, thumb deployment and the reverse flick. Here we go. Bam. Okay. Let's check out that action once again. Nice. Boom. 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 I want to say, I, I feel it in my, my index here. When I do the reverse flick, I want to move my index out of the way so I'm not touching the crossbar lock right there. And yeah, it's going to take a little bit of practice, that's for sure. Bam. 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 Okay, so what do we have going on with this bad Bama Jama right here? We have a nice, very nice drop point blade. Uh, it is a flat grind with a little bit of relief here with uh, a little bit of an indentation at the top. That has to be one of the most savage looking blades right there. Still a very classic design, very spear looking in a way. So very symmetrical, I want to say, uh, type of blade for sure. It is D2. So we got D2 steel going on here, which is pretty, pretty common for this budget range of knife. Have a nice flat grind going on 
down here with a nice pattern. Like you can see the lines coming this way and then you see some other lines going that way. That's pretty sweet right there. It looks really, really good. And uh, let's check for blade play. Yeah, no blade play side to side. Nothing going on up and down. That's very solid. No doubt about that. Let me give it a nice little wipe off camera here. <laughs> Man, so what do we have billboarding wise? We have the model name and that is 2038 with the D2. We have uh, this knife is made in China. That is <laughs> printed right there for sure. And we got Karsha on the other side. Back on the handle again, very nice aluminum. They feel really good and premium. Feel like titanium, but obviously it's not. It's aluminum, but uh, feel wise in the hand. I want to say this knife is just so, so light. Like if you're looking to carry a light knife, you don't need no FRN. You don't need none of that stuff. This guy right here is super, super light. Let's do a quick weight check on this guy. And I don't typically do this during the unboxing videos, but again, I'm so blown away with how light this guy is. I want to give you guys an idea. Look at that, 3.3 ounces, 3.3 ounces. Yeah, this guy is super light again. For quick comparison, the FG right there, Civivi Vision FG is 4.3. So I could I could tell the difference right away. And of course I had already been EDC in this guy for a couple of days in a row for the review video. So when I picked this guy up, I was like, man, that's a significant difference right there. Full disclaimer, I am not a lightweight freak in any sort of way. So having a knife that is this light is okay. If it were any heavier than this, that also would have been okay. So that really goes either way for me just a quick size comparison here again first impressions there it is next to the Civivi Vision FG about the same overall length I want to say and of course the blade geometry is different on these two this is just a quick unboxing overview video I'll be EDC in this guy for about a week or two and then I'll be dropping a comprehensive review video at that point you guys know how it goes here's the Firebird Ganso with a very interesting model name and here is the Fleesa folding knife so all three of these are crossbar lock I want to say, yeah, the, I'm so used to the crossbar on this guy being a little bit on the stiff side or more robust side. When I first flipped the Iridium, I was so pleased to see that it's so effortless and I love it. I love it already. It is such an effortless crossbar lock. It definitely reminded me a lot of the Fleesa folding knife because the crossbar on this guy is also very, very, very easy to operate. But again, just getting some quick comparisons right there. And we'll do one more maybe just for, you know, sake of consistency here. There's the very well known at this point, CJRB Pyrite. And of course the sibling CJRB Pyrite Alt. Both of those are very, very well known knives. The Iridium is a little bit longer than both of them. We have some recess liners going on right there. You can barely see them right here so they took the time to make sure those liners were nice and tucked in i don't see any milling going on so even with no milling whatsoever they managed to make a knife that is just so so very light i am definitely very impressed this nice bronze accent right here i gotta say that works for me like i like i like it already right out of the box it has a nice contrast with the dark gray aluminum here it'll be interesting to see how this aluminum scale wears off over time but looking very very nice right there if you are a linear hole type of people you got a very wide one going on right there in the back which is good pocket clip is very decently deep carry so maybe only this tiny bit right here at the top will show it is very nice and very well executed i see the screws are nice and recessed you can barely see the heads at all they they executed it pretty good it's a nice little drop and a tiny little swoop right here not not the same thing that can be said about the Civivi Vision or pocket clip you know with this little crazy race going up right here like crazy that's uh, again we'll leave that for the review video but again the pocket clip right here already I'm liking it so far and it is reversible so props there to Korshaw for making sure that the pocket clip it is reversible for both righties and lefties they can both carry it tip up there's no tip down option if that's still the case for you this knife doesn't offer that only tip up carry righty and lefties only Man, I gotta tell you, okay, uh, let's say first impressions, I, I'm loving it so far, got some jimping going on here, very minimal at the top of the blade, right, got a nice little three lines right there, the thumb studs are very well executed, I like the fact that they're not too peaky, too pointy, right, nice and kind of rounded thumb studs, so they feel really, really good right there, for reverse flicking as well, yeah, you can fire this thing like it's nobody's business with the reverse flick. And man, oh man, this thing is light. I gotta tell you, like I'm still kind of getting over that. So 
first impression on ergonomics you got a nice cut out here for your index finger and then everything else is just sort of like a straight line very universal nothing unique here lots of companies have done this for years so but yeah i can tell right that this is going to be very comfortable in the hand no sore spots so far right you could uh you know bear down on it if you want to that's good you know rest your thumb up here if you want to as well there's no forward choke option on this guy at least i wouldn't recommend it because you'll put your finger very close to the corner of the blade or edge right there and uh, that wouldn't be good so other than that you have a nice plunge grind going on here so you'll be able to sharpen this guy quite a lot of times with no issues again this guy is flat grind for the most part and then a little bit of a relief indentation going on here at the top as well and a man a man oh man does it look sexy and attractive how sharp is this guy out of the box i don't know let's uh Let's see how grabby that thing is. It definitely, definitely makes uh, some good little curls up for sure. And uh, let's actually make some official cuts here. Bam. All right, D2 blade, it caught a little bit right there. Just a tiny bit. All right, maybe needs a little bit of strapping. I don't know, you guys be the judge. All right, there it is for contrast. Bam, let's uh, make some confident cuts here, shall we? Bam. Boom. Bam. Yeah, there you go. When you when you mean business, you mean business. Alright, let's cut this paper. Like there is no tomorrow. So yeah, is it gonna cut out of the box? You bet, right? Boom. What about some cardboard for fair measure? Of course, today's episode is brought to you by Kachow. Lightning McQueen over here. Here we go. Let's see how it does. Boom. Bam. All right, it's cutting pretty good. Yeah, remember always when cutting cardboard, don't cut perpendicular like this, but rather at like a slight angle like that. And you are gonna be good to go. Bam, there it is. All right, you guys be the judge right there. Rate it on a scale from one to 10. How sharp is this guy out of the box? I wanna say the fact that Kershaw offers this guy at around $60, right? $59.99, around $60 is how, how much I picked it up for in Amazon. Again, check out those links down below if you want to take a look there, check this guy out. Well, there you have it, guys. Check it out in its full glory. This has been a quick unboxing video of the Kershaw Iridium. Of course, you know the drill. I'm gonna be EDC in this guy for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be dropping a very very comprehensive review of this guy here very very soon so if you aren't already subscribed this will be a great time to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out don't forget to like the video guys that helps the algorithm push this video to a bigger audience and if you want to take your support a step further please check out the patreon link right down below you can become a patreon supporter of the channel for as little as one dollar a month and hey if you want to check the unboxing on the Civivi vision fg i'll put a card right here to check this guy out and also subscribe because the review video on this guy here is coming up very very so thank you guys for making it to the end if you did you are the real mvp have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace